Welcome to the second video on the Game Analyst channel. If you haven't seen our first video, the link is in the description, or you can click the annotation to take you to the Rocket League review now. In this video we were discussing and reviewing Overwatch, a game developed by Blizzard Entertainment. Overwatch is a class-based shooter featuring 23 unique heroes with different weapons and abilities. It is an online multiplayer game in which two teams compete to win different varieties of game modes. Different game modes support different amounts of players. There is a 1v1 mode in which both players use the same hero and the hero changes each round. It is first to 5 wins. Then there is a 3v3 game mode which is similar to the 6v6 but less players and smaller maps. Usually on this game mode there is no objective except the last team standing. Then there is the standard 6v6 modes which involve holding a control point and moving an objective around the map. The heroes in Overwatch come under four different classes, offense, defense, tank and support. Every hero has its own lore, which does not currently have any relevance in the gameplay, but it may in the future. Each one also has its own set of unique abilities as we previously mentioned. An example of an offensive hero is Reaper. Reaper is a character that resembles the Grim Reaper, plus he has some unique Hellfire shotguns. This ghostly character can be immune to damage, which makes him quite deadly, as his attacks are very strong at close range. This Reaper character is responsible for many terrorist attacks across the world, and he has no loyalty to any organisation. Reaper also has a teleport ability, which allows him to sneak around the map behind enemies and teleport to positions that other characters would not be able to get to. A popular defense hero is Bastion. Bastion is a robot that has the ability to transform between an assault robot or to a turret, which helps Bastion in a lot of defensive situations. Bastion, who was once a frontline combatant in the devastating Omnic Crisis, went rogue after the war, and now he is exploring the world. His other ability is that he can repair himself, healing his health. Bastion's ultimate is tank configuration, which allows him to become a miniature tank and one-shot anyone that gets in his way. One of the tank heroes is D.Va. D.Va is a tank who used to be a professional StarCraft 2 player, which is an interesting backstory. However, when the Omnics attacked, she used her StarCraft 2 experience to pilot a mech suit and destroy the Omnics coming from the East China Sea. When her mech suit is destroyed, she jumps out and uses her pistol until she can recall a mech suit. When in her suit, she has another ability, which blocks all damage for a short period of time. Lastly, her ultimate is initiating self-destruct on her mech suit into a group of enemies, jumping out to escape the blast. A popular healing support hero is Lucio. Lucio is a character who has a sonic amplifier which he uses on enemies to knock foes back with a blast of sound. His sons can both heal his team, or boost their movement speed. He can also run along walls to avoid being hit. Lucio grew up in Rio de Janeiro and was hit hard by financial issues following the Omnic Crisis. He has another ability which allows him to push enemies far away, which we can use to get environmental kills by pushing enemies off the cliffs. His ultimate drops the beat, which gives all teammates within a radius a huge health boost, far past their usual max for a short time. After a match of Overwatch, you will see a small clip of the best part of the game selected by the game itself. This is called Player of the Game, and it is designed to give players something to work towards other than winning and getting kills. Play of the Game has also spawned a world of different memes. In Overwatch, you can earn loot boxes through level up rewards or by purchasing them with real money. These loot boxes contain four items and can be any mixture of character skins, sprays, highlight intros, which can be played before Play of the Games. Victory poses, voice lines, player icons, emotes, and credits are spent in the shop. These can come in different tiers of rarity common, rare, epic, and legendary. If you receive duplicates, this also comes as credits. Overwatch runs seasonal events in which new themed loot is released. For example, in the Halloween event some of the new skins were released, like Dr. Junkenstein for Junkrat and the Junkenstein's monster skin for Roadhog. There are many types of map in this game. Firstly, you have Control Point, where the attacking team try to capture and hold the point to 100%, without the enemy stopping them. To capture the point, attackers must be the only ones on the point for a short duration of time. Next you have Payload, where you guide a slow moving object around a path to the final point. The defending team has to stop this from happening. Finally, you have Hybrid, which is a control point map and then a payload to the end. There is a competitive mode, which runs on a seasonal basis. It is currently in Season 4. You must play 10 matches, and depending on how well you perform in those matches, you get placed into a tier, from the bottom up. These tiers go Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Master and Grandmaster. If you win, you gain SR to slowly rank up these tiers. You cannot get demoted a tier, however you can lose SR down to zero. Once the season finishes, everyone is rewarded based on what they reached. You are rewarded with icons, sprays and competitive points. These are used to purchase golden weapons for whatever class you choose. 
After the current season, everyone is set to unranked and have to play their 10 placement matches again. During some events, new game modes are released. For example, during the Christmas event, a mode called May Snowball Fences was released. In this mode, everyone was May, and you had to be on the map Echo Point Antarctica. You have one shot, one kill, with one snowball, but then you had to reload using the snow on the ground to put in May's weapon. Another example is Junkenstein's Revenge, the only PvE mode to ever exist in Overwatch. Lastly, the during the Olympics, Lucio Ball was released, a 3v3 mode in which you had to use Lucio's gun and abilities to shoot a ball into a goal and score. Our joint personal opinion on Overwatch is that it is a very enjoyable game, and despite the claim that many elements of Overwatch are clones of other games, the combined effect feels very unique. This game can be enjoyed with or without friends in competitive mode or other standard modes. With all DLC being free, new content is always around the corner, keeping the game fresh and interesting. We recommend this game to anyone. That concludes our review of Overwatch. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any criticisms, preferably constructive, or if you have any ideas for the future, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.